Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you a uh, sample implementation of a uh, light theme, dark theme uh, toggle switch in a Laravel uh, with Livewire uh, project uh, without using Alpine.js, just using some vanilla JS. Uh, I personally haven't learned Alpine yet. Uh, I'm not super familiar with how it works. Um, I do know Livewire though. And when I try to implement a theme switcher with a live wire component on the page using Alpine that I found online, it, uh, it broke down and I didn't really want to figure out why. So I decided I would just write it uh, in regular JS. So uh, here's my theme switcher here. I found this cute like little animation thing uh, in a YouTube video online that I will link below. Um, yep, you click on it, this little moon and it dark mode, little sun, light mode, pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to actually log in here into this Breeze app, switch it into dark mode for now, and show you the code behind it. Um, so I have a four, I have four files open here, and the first one is just the app.js file, and this just imports my theme manager JS file that I wrote. So we'll close that for now. Not super important. Uh, next is the theme switcher blade. This is a uh, Laravel blade component that represents this little toggle button here. Um, this is the bulk of this I found in that YouTube video. Again, we'll link below. Um, and I made a couple of changes from its original state, but um, all I really added here was this uh, class of theme manager button. And I made it a class rather than an ID, so you can have multiple uh, of these components with listeners on the same page without it being ID'd. So this is just some SVGs and uh, some paths, and that kind of thing. So we can close that. So the main sauce is this theme manager JS file. It has a function, a listener, and a little loop here, and that's basically it. So this apply theme function takes in a theme as an argument, and it sets the documents, bodies, class lists, uh, theme, whether it be dark or light, and then it also saves it to local storage uh, rather than session. And then basically on the document being loaded, it grabs the uh, save theme if it exists, otherwise it grabs light. And then it, uh, it I will get into this in a bit, but it updates the uh, documents bodies style attributes display property to an empty string. Um, and that is for something we'll look at in just a moment. And then here we uh, grab all of the theme buttons, all of the different toggle theme buttons by their class name, that theme manager button class. Then we iterate over each of them and give them a event listener click handler which then applies the theme based off of if the class list contains a theme it just switches it and when you call apply theme it sets the local storage so super super tight very nice um, but the whole reason we're doing this by a class name and not an id is because in my case here i have my uh little toggle bar on the nav bar but I also want it to be on my settings page. So if I go to my profile, I have it here as well. Now I couldn't just, you know, you know, blade hide this somehow, use like an if like we're not at this route or, or something, I could hack, hack it around it. But I just figured, you know, have them both here. We can have them in sync. You click one, it updates both. Very nice. So I'm sure this is easier in, Live, uh, in La Alpine. That's how I implemented it here. The last bit I want to cover is why um, we're doing this document body style display thing. And basically, I'll just show you if I get rid of this and I get rid of this uh, here and I refresh my page, you see that flash? You, you see that? See how it flashes light and then oop, it goes to dark. Or if I switch it here and then I refresh, well, when it's light, it's fine. But if you're on dark mode, it's defaulting the light and then swapping back. And maybe there's a better way around this, but I just put you know, don't display the body on page load. Uh, and, you know, once we've applied the theme, then render the body. And it's pretty, it's pretty quick. I'm spamming, you know, reload here. And it's uh, pretty instantaneous. So that's a, a little way to get around that. Um, but yep, that's uh, how I implemented my little theme switcher in this, this demo app. So hope this helped you. I... Uh, I think I'm going to put the uh, this repo on my GitHub, so it'll be linked in the description. Okay, I uh, hope this helped. Bye-bye. See you later.